So what is this exactly? You'll see. Did you, like, make her a memorial statue? No, you'll see. What is it? You'll see. Hi, guys. Miss Ida! Natsuki, Siori, and MC rush up to hug Miss Ida. I thought you were going to be gone forever! Not quite. Well, we're really glad you're back. I can see that. Monica, come hug Miss Ida! I already hugged her, Sayori. You know she was here? Of course I did. I brought her back with Yuri's help. Well, I'm glad you're back. You definitely look like it. Shut up! Ah, nice to see the fruits of your labors, right, Yuri? Hmm. Yuri? Oh, I guess it's wonderful to have her here. Although, from our perspective, she wasn't really gone, you know. I know. Still, though. Okay, enough, enough. You guys are going to smother me. Uh, so, what? Do you finally know everything now? Yep, more or less. You guys weren't kidding, it's a hell of a trip. It really is. Poor Natsuki. The whole thing has been really hard on her, hasn't it? Or you, rather. So wait, do you know everything, everything? Not just like the nature of reality and stuff, but the whole story? The whole story. Every bit of it. Although even before, it wasn't too hard to see that something was bothering you beyond just your family issues, Natsuki. Remember? I think it was more noticing something was up with you that led me down this rabbit hole in the first place. Oh yeah, huh. Sorry about that. Don't apologize. I mean, don't get me wrong, adjusting to, uh, the real state of things will take some time. But I'm glad I did it. After all, I did it so that I could help you with whatever weird thing you were dealing with. And now maybe I can. So, um, question. When you say that you know the whole story, do you know everything that's happened since the original game and now? Well, not everything. I'd say I know everything from the original game, as you call it, and a few things since then. But maybe especially relevant to your question. I do know exactly what each of you were doing when the game froze because of me. I see. Yep. Even me. Even you. You saw what I was writing. Uh, yes, and I saw what you were writing, and it said that in the previous text box. Eli just messed up. Did you see the finished product? I'm afraid I did. Don't worry, Yuri, I'm not going to tell anyone. Unless you want me to, of course. No, thank you. I'm just glad that everyone's here and okay. Also, it would end well, I suppose. Can you explain how you fixed this? What do I want to do now? Is anyone actually going to that dance that I'm seeing Siri were setting up for? No, but I was going to the basketball game that's happening right before it. Huh. Well, for now, why don't we have the club? And Miss Dita can be a part of the whole thing this time. Ah, uh, it's good to be back here. What do you guys want to do first? Poems? I heard Siori still has to do her mod, too. Well, with everything that happened last week, I didn't really assign poems. I still haven't finished my mod. <laughs> It's a little more complicated than my mod from last semester. Goodness, that's right. This has been going on for well over a school here for you, hasn't it? Longer for me. But anyway, why don't we take the time to write some poems? What do you guys want to write about? Do you want to write one today, Miss Dina? Oh, I'm not sure I'm in any mind to write poetry just now. Still trying to process all of this. Yeah, I know the feeling. How about haiku again, since we have to write them right now? That was a lot of fun last time. Yeah, good idea. Alright, haiku it is then. Write them about whatever you want, okay? The club settles in and starts writing. Incredible. They've been dealing with this for so long that it's normal to them. I think I understand now how they were using the club to cope. It gives me a sense of normalcy. Something familiar and structured with people they love and trust. I'm not really a part of that though, am I? I just barged in on it uninvited. Not really knowing what I was getting into. Just like always. Hey guys, before you get into too, er, too into writing. So, obviously I'm in the know now, but um... I still don't mind heading out and leaving you guys to do your own thing if you want. I know I'm not really one of the group like you guys are. Don't want to bring anyone down. 
None of that. Yeah, you're totally part of the group. Especially if you deleted yourself to save us. You should minimize something like that. So don't let us hear any more of that freaky self-doubt you have. It's weird for a grown-up to have that. I can assure you that it isn't. Do you need another hug? We could do another big hug. No, no, I'm fine. I just wanted to make sure. You all are so kind and open. I just don't want to ruin your fun. Well, you're not. You're very welcome here with us. Now, if you don't mind, we have poems to write. Hmm. Lucina smiles happily to herself. All right, everyone done. Who wants to... Everything all right? Yeah, I'm just realizing that I now perceive myself as speaking in English. Yeah, there'll be a lot of realizations like that coming. Just take deep breaths and keep going. This is my, or is my advice. All right, then. Who wants to go first? I'll go. Yuri, I get the sense that you go first a lot. She's proud of her poetry. For good reason. My poem is called Behind the Sun. Behind the sun. Flip the light in dark. Only then you see the shadow cast by the sun itself. Ooh, pretty. I don't really get it, though. Like, how can the sun even cast a shadow? I mean, I guess there's something even brighter than the sun we're behind it and might cast a shadow. But even then, wouldn't there just be a lot of light? It's okay, Sayori. It's not meant to be taken very literally. I'm not even sure it's a metaphor for anything. I just thought it was a thought-provoking concept. It's definitely thought-provoking, kind of the same way an Escher painting is. It's like a contradiction. Yeah, exactly. It's like a little puzzle that your brain can't quite solve. And with really lovely imagery. As usual for a Yuri bone. Thank you, Monica. Of course. Natsuki, what did you think? Eh, it was okay, I guess. A lot of fancy stuff, but the poem was kind of about nothing. Just not the kind of thing I can get down with. I see. Does every poem have to be about something? I mean, if a thing is just pretty by itself, that's worth something, right? Even if a poem has no other meaning, but just sounds nice, isn't that a good thing? Meh. Meh? Uh, you go, then. I will. No repeats. Castle in the sky. Where do you go when you die? Hope it's something new. Ah. Uh, again, so direct. With rather childlike metaphor at the beginning as well. Never change, Natsuki. What is that supposed to mean? Are you just mad because I didn't have glowing praise for your poem? Oh boy, here we go. No, I would never be so petty. That's totally what it is. You wanted praise for me, and now you're lashing out because you didn't get it. Now who's a son there? Are they always like this? Basically, yeah. Goodness, you are irritating today. Back me up on this, MC. She's totally projecting, right? Whoa, no way. I'm not dumb enough to get in the middle of this. Exactly. He's above your petty drama, Natsuki. That's not what I said. So you're agreeing with her? No. So you're agreeing with her? No! Sari, can you please help me out with this? So, of course, super handsome boyfriend. So, some things from your group dynamic don't change much, I suppose. Clearly not. Saves me from having to read though, so I'm not complaining. A few minutes later, Sari is finishing what sounds like a long speech. And that's why you guys are such good friends. And should act like it. And just kiss already. Just kidding. <laughs> We should stop arguing. They'll keep making these stupid jokes otherwise. Yes, that's probably wisest. Well, moving on then, why don't you go next, MC? Yep, here's mine. Entrance. The touch grabs me, pulls. It feels like drowning, but warm. I am lost in you. <coughs> Monica coughs in surprise and takes a sip of water. Holy shit! Pardon my French. That's fine. This is an after-school activity, not school itself. Okay, good. I was just surprised by this poem a little bit. It's so... Carnal. Not quite the word I'd use, but something like that. MC's not a typical guy. He usually writes about pretty long-term abstract topics. But this one, woof, very sexy, very romantic. What are you, are just going to assume it's physical? You did use words like touch and warm, MC. Makes it seem pretty physical. 
and you are pulled, seemingly physically as well. Drowning, too, is another physical sensation. Not only one or two of these might be a metaphor, but... But you're totally busted, MC! This is a sexy poem! Not that there's anything wrong with that, by the looks of Sayori. You have any feedback for your boy, Sayo? No! Well, why don't you save him from further embarrassment by presenting your poem, then? Okay! Oh, cool. Where do I go now? I've been following roads. No, just open fields. Oh, I really like this one. Even aside from just being supportive, I really do love this one, especially. I'm really glad, MC. Why is this one in particular? Just something about the feeling it expresses, I guess. It totally gets the whole thing about having to make your way more choices than you used to as you get older. Actually, it's about what to do with my mind, I guess, now that my depression isn't quite as heavy as it used to be. But your interpretation is a lot more generally useful, probably. I don't really get the name of the poem. Why is it called The Fool? I believe it might be a reference to the tarot card with the same name. That card reference, or, or, yeah, that card reference, a sense of naive wonder that the broad choice is available at the beginning of a road. Yup, that was it. Ah, of course. I'm surprised you know about tarot stuff, Sayori. Or thinking it's valid. Well, I don't know that I think it's valid, but they're interesting symbols. I sense Yuri's doing in this. Title aside, I think the poem is very strong, Sayori. It gets a lot across in three lines. It just me left to go, I think. So let's finish off these poems. Self-respect. Just the house as much if the person living there once lost the kingdom. Huh. I thought I understood what was going on with this one, but on second reading it means the opposite of what I thought it meant. When someone who had lost a, lo a whole kingdom and knew what it was like to be less content with just a simple house, or maybe if you focus on what they had. It doesn't seem so weird if you focus on what they lost. Then it starts to make sense. Or more sense. I think I get it. Like, a loss of that nature is super devastating, right? Right. It might be so huge that it feels you've been left with nothing. And then you might have a much greater appreciation than you formerly would have for just simple security. Yeah, I see you guys get it. I'm really lucky to have such a great group of friends. All right, and with that, I think we're ready to start with the emails for today. Emails? Ah, oh, right, and you wouldn't have done it before. Every week, we take some time to answer questions from the real world. Wait, questions from the real world? Do a lot of people play this game? Millions of people played the original, the base game, as they say. As for this particular world we live in, a few hundred, maybe a thousand, it's hard to tell. But we have people who like to talk to us and send an email. And it's pretty fun to answer. It's kind of like we have a fan club. I see. Yup. We're going on a long hiatus over this week, but just like with summer vacation last year, we'll do a big mailbag cleanup before too long. So even if your email didn't make it in this episode, don't worry, we'll almost certainly get to it in time. And keep sending in new ones. We're really grateful when we get them. The email address is, of course, that place. So without further ado, here we go with the first one. Hello, I'm H. Wolf. Over the past few months, I have grown quite fond of your little club. I'd love to join if I wasn't so busy. I don't think I can tell you much about what I do for a living. It would take too long to explain, but I'm big on exploring other worlds slash universes and stuff. My question is for MC. Have you thought about growing out some facial hair? You'd look pretty smooth as a stash. Hi, H. Wolf. It's good to see you in the mailbag. Sorry to you and everyone who's been waiting so long. Our mailbag is very full. Anyway, you're up, MC. Nah, facial hair weirds me out. It feels so unclean any time I let it grow out at all. I can't imagine how the guys with beards eat and drink without being grossed out. I feel you, man. Ah, I, I, I stopped keeping a mustache because I got tired of liquids just entering it. Plus, Sari likes me clean shaven. That's like, yeah, I do. Kissing you is really nice that way rather than when you're all prickly. But at the same time, if you had, like, a full mustache and beard... And while Sayori daydreams about that, let's bring up the next email. Hello, everyone. I just want to say first off, thank you all for reading this, and sorry if it's a bit long, I tend to go overboard sometimes. So to start with a general question for the whole club, are any of you neurodiverse 
I was recently diagnosed with autism and ADHD myself, and notice a number of my mannerisms match up a lot to a number of ones you all have. Huh. Time for one of the long multiple questions emails. But their first question's real quick is whether anyone here is neurodivergent. I am not. My brain is weird. I don't think that's what they mean, Sayori. Both Sayori and me are neurotypical. Same. I don't think I have ASD. But I relate very well to people who do. I understand their thinking. One of our teachers, Miss Hiriyama, has ASD, and she and I understand each other very well. And suddenly, the voice Hallie chose for her is rather unfortunate. But I've never been diagnosed with it, so I don't know. Maybe just slightly. All right, and with that, let's get to the specific questions. To Sayori, first off, I want to say you hold a very close spot to me now and always. Your usual happy, carefree demeanor, always looking out for others over yourself, and deep care for everyone and everything, all remind me deeply of myself often, and you have helped me through some of my dark times, not too unlike some of what you've gone through, and I just have to say thank you. You help fill in the bit of a void I have in me from a bit of trauma I have relating to friends. In the base game, you were the lifelong friend I always wanted and never did actually have, and to see you doing better nowadays just makes my day feel better. Also, don't let MC hold almost burning your house down against you. It could be worse. I almost burnt mine down because I left the room and completely forgot about the water I was boiling. Thanks, ADHD. I'm well, sorry I let you down. You were nice enough not to say I did, but... If you saw me as that close friend, I probably hurt you pretty bad. Hopefully I still help you a little bit now. I'll keep trying to be happy for you and everyone else, especially myself. Yeah, MC is usually pretty nice and doesn't bring up all the dumb stuff I do. Which is a good thing because there's a lot of it. Thanks for your well wishes! To Natsuki. First off, manga is literature. Never, ever, let those who shan't be named convince you otherwise. It's basically like music. There are other styles and genres. But to dismiss something just because it's different than your own norm is just hypocrisy, basically. Secondly, who oh boy, the times if clapped and said, hey, to your gaming opinions and the such. Like, dang, you have such relatable opinions and interests to me. And a question. What is your opinion on the Sonic the Hedgehog series? I remember you mentioned one of the adventure games, if memory serves, and MMM the soundtracks never failed to deliver. Oh, it was an mm, not an MMM. Let's see. My god, your opinions are just so correct. How does it feel to be so tuned in to objective truth? It probably feels pretty good. I like the Sonic games okay. Some of them are pretty garbage, but my favorites are the older ones. Sonic's 1 through 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles are all pretty good. And yeah, you're right, the soundtracks are almost invariably full of bangers. Keep being right about everything, emailer. To Yuri. While I may not relate to you as much on things as Natsuki or Sayori, I do share the desire to be more self-kept and isolated. The presence of other people, especially those I don't know, just drives my anxiety through the roof. I just want to ask, what sort of things do you do to cope with being in a social situation that you have to be in with a large number of people you're uncomfortable with? Anyway, I hope you didn't mind my questions and you continue to do well. Assuming you are doing well, hopefully you are. It's quite alright that you don't relate to me on as many things. It sounds like, in general, we may be somewhat similar, just with different interests. As to what I do good to cope, one thing that helps is knowing that you can always stop and leave if you want. Even if you never use that power, just knowing you have it is very strengthening. So reminding yourself of that, or having someone else remind you, is very helpful. If it truly is something you can't walk out of even to take a break, try to keep the end in sight and in mind. Think about all the things you can do and how nice it will feel once you get away. Also, this doesn't happen that often. But sometimes, with rare people, they can provide you a little bubble of safety. They might be able to talk to you and take your focus entirely away from the group. Then it feels like you're just alone with one person, which is much more manageable. Or at least it gives you a little break from the huge sea of people. Anyway, I hope that helps.